Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This time I'm joined by these wonderful women who are fighting hard to make season 3 happen. And yes, I'm talking about Sensei, obviously. It's probably in the title of the video. Um, so you guys can introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Anna and I'm, I'm from Verona, Italy. Hi, I'm Ina and I'm from Belgium. Hello everyone, I'm Margaret and I'm from California, USA. Okay, so I, I prepared a few questions that are kind of silly, <laughs> but I don't know <laughs> how to interview people, so I, I, I did my best. <laughs> That's we appreciate it. So, first question, uh, what was the scene or moment that made you go, this is the best show I've ever seen? I'm sure we're all gonna say the same thing, but go ahead. <laughs> no, I need some time, like three seconds to think. I know uh, it's hard to okay. think this one moment, but oh, for I me, just... for yeah. uh, for Margaret, um, yeah, Margaret. Um, I think for me, my scene that really stuck out was when Sun was fighting for. Uh, Caffius. Yeah. Oh, the bus scene. Great. I think that that one mm -hmm. that one really stuck out to me. I know it was a little bit later on in the series. Well, not too much, but you know, a few episodes in. But mm -hmm. that one for sure. I was like I knew for sure I was hooked. It was just like this is amazing. <laughs> for me, it's like that moment that you just just described. Mm -hmm. For me that was a moment like, oh, this is a really good series. I'm definitely gonna keep watching it. But then the moment that really hit me, like, oh my god, this is going to be my favorite series ever, was when they all sang uh, What's Up. Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, yeah. Definitely. No, for me, it was actually, like, a weird moment, but I don't know, it, it stuck with me. Uh, it's, like, uh, one of the first episodes when they all have a migraine and Riley goes out uh, of the disco, and there's Nyx, and she gets introduced to Nyx, and he does all this crazy speech about limbic resonance, and I'm like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? I know I'm gonna be into this stuff so much. <laughs> I was like, yes, yes, this is for me. What was your, like, the best cluster moment for you? Oh my god. Oh, this one's no, easy that, that is a hard one. <laughs> That's a hard one. <laughs> no, but for me, it's definitely, like, uh season two episode two the who am i speech like ooh, seriously ooh, just getting chills remembering that oh. yeah exactly like i mean i already loved sensei and had been a fan for a while but when i watched it i just like i was like oh my god this cluster yes 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 yes, yes. that's my cluster moment definitely i think for me it's it's uh combination of two actually I don't know if I can choose two but um, one would be when they were in the police van all together and they all did that huddle over uh, sun before uh -huh. it cracked and my second one is actually when they're in the special when they're all together in the house mm. and in real life I think that one kind of hit home for me too so that those two are my favorites thank you my favorite one is like the birthday scene where they're all dancing and stuff. That was really nice. Oh, yes. Oh, that was cute. This one's hard. Favorite <laughs> character in the cluster and outside of the cluster? <gasps> oh my god. Okay. Going to us? No, just kidding. Okay. Uh, everybody knows that I have a thing for Kafios. Yes. <laughs> it's no secret. I am in love with Caffius and he the reason is adorable. Why, How can you yeah, not be besides, in love with Caffius? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but like if you talk to people, he's rarely like the favorite. I mean, it's so hard to choose, but I'm so soft for him. I think because I am so different from him. That's why I love him very much. Like I would die to have a Caffius in my life. Right? I'm such a oh my God. I'm such a like realistic slash pessimist person. 
And Capus would be my boot booster every single day. The light of your life, yes. Exactly, Because exactly. Because they're lighting your way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's okay. why I love him so much. And outside the cluster, that's a hard one. But mm -hmm. I would go with Bug, especially knowing that the actor was actually supposed to just have a cameo and then not become a character part of the show. And really? I, just, I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael was surprised as well. And he really loves Sense8. He's a Sense8, I'm sure of this. Uh, but yeah, Bug. Outside the cluster is Bug, definitely. Um, for me, I think my favorite character within the cluster, oh gosh, um, <laughs> probably Wolfgang. I do have a really big thing for Wolfgang, for Max in general. He's a <laughs> oh, I think I, I knew I knew of <laughs> I knew of Max before um, before Sensei actually, and I think that's one of the main reasons why I actually to watch it was because he was in it, and I knew him from Free Fall, from oh, that yeah. movie. Oh my God, Free Fall is like ah. Oh. Oh my yeah. Yeah. They did a great job in it, and he he always stuck out for me as an actor. So when I saw his name, I was like, "He that looks familiar." Like you know, I know who this guy is. So I turned it on. I'm like, "Yeah, I really I like this actor." So I stuck with it, and he was my favorite character since. And my favorite character outside of the cluster, I think, is Hernando. <laughs> oh my <laughs> just, God! Yes. Yeah. We're gonna have the same answer. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's just so calm and accepting about everything. It's just, I don't know. I think he's, I, I think his personality is very distinct from everybody in in the cluster and outside of it. He's always just very self assured, and he has good advice. He's very wise. You know, he just takes everything in stride. He's very understanding. So I, I like him the best out of the cluster. I'm sorry, out of from outside the cluster. Yeah. <laughs> I realize that I haven't been answering the questions because it's not about me, but should I? <laughs> yeah, why not? Uh, what was the scene that or moment that made you go, this is the best show I've ever seen? Mine was mm -hmm. the, the the one you just said. The What am I? Who am I? It's who mm -hmm. am I, right? Okay, so that, was, that was for me. It took me a little bit. <laughs> but that, that moment, I was like, Yes, this is the best show I have ever seen. Uh, best cluster moment, I think it was when they fought against the other cluster. I mm -hmm. think that moment was so cool. And my favorite character in the cluster, and this is going to be a surprise because it was a surprise for me, uh, is Wolfgang. I didn't like him at first. I really <laughs> didn't like him at first. Wow. I, don't, I don't know why. I usually... When I hate something, I end up loving it, like out of this world <laughs> loving it. So I should be used to that. But at, at first I was like, no, I don't like this guy. He's a thug. What the hell? And he's oh, naked yeah. all the time. And well, <laughs> now I can't live without my wolf gang. And outside of the cluster is, is Bug. As much oh. as I love Lito and Hernando and, and their, you know, relationship, it's... I'm sorry, Hernando, but Bog. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a good personality, too. Yeah. It sticks yeah. out for a lot. I mean, yeah, yeah. Great. That's the problem with choosing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What was the funniest moment for you? The funniest moment where I'm just, like, crying with laughter was uh, in the final uh, episode of season one. When um, Will is trying to rescue Riley and everyone, you know, shows up and it's time for Lito to show up. And he's like, wait a second. Hey, I know you from somewhere. And he's like, yeah, we had sex. And, just, <laughs> and, just, and the timing of their responses and their faces, just perfect. It was so funny. Just the way they did that. Just the funniest thing yeah, <laughs> in the whole show for me, really. That seems hilarious. I'm still thinking. Hold on. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking, I'm thinking hard, as well. I know. I don't know, I think like every funny moment I relate to Jella because it's like a character that I really love. Like a every time he speaks, like when he says to Kafu, you, you know I'd follow you anywhere. Like these kind of phrases make me laugh all the time, <laughs> all the time. Or when they're talking, like in uh, the Christmas special when Kafu decides that he's gonna tell Jella the truth 
and tells him that he has this Korean spirit and he's like, why is she in prison? Oh, <laughs> all these questions, they make me laugh. So I would choose the Christmas special, yes, when they talk about sun. I think mine, oh, that was a hard one. Okay, uh, I think mine would have to be when sun was on her period. Oh. <laughs> and and Lipo is screaming and being emotional while he's in the... <laughs> <laughs> that one really, really got to me. I think I think that was one of the first like scenes. Wait, I think it was the first scene with him and Sun, like interacting. Yes, yes it's yeah. the first. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was the scene that really. What really a good was. way to start a relationship. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, Sun and Lito. Opposite too. Together. I think that's what's funnier. They're just so they're opposites. She's yeah. just very quiet and you know sensitive and he's sensitive but he's just loud about it so yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I, I, I think at that scene i think i i agree with you that's that's my favorite one too <laughs> the funniest yeah okay, but there's so many good scenes too it's hard to yeah. just you know yeah just I, all did, the I, I really love the one in, in the well the end of the show when i guess they're gonna have sex and um wolfgang is just like inviting i forgot his what? name oh my god Rajan? Uh, Rajan, you mean? yeah. <laughs> when he's just like tapping in the bed, like, come here. Oh my oh god. My god. Oh I my god. <laughs> I was crying. Like, I was crying from the emotional wreck of the episode, but that scene got me even more crying and laughing at the same time. I thought my favorite throuple was Lido and his gang, but come on. Come on. What <laughs> And Rajan, Rajan is is great. He's 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 a great husband. And he's a great character too. So it, I, I wanted I wanted Nala to be with um, I wanted Nala to be with Wolfgang, but at the same time, I didn't want her to leave Rajan because he was so nice and so great and so understanding. <laughs> so the fact that they just you know joined was oh my god, was the best. Yes. Oh, I really just yeah. right on, but okay. I think one <laughs> other. I knew, I knew you it, did. Oh, I don't Ooh. like him, but I, I, I don't like the, <laughs> the ending choice there. What they did uh, with Kalara, John, and Wolfgang. It's not my favorite choice, <laughs> but you know. I think it was a shock for a lot of people because nobody was expecting it, like myself included. I because it, it felt like. We were kind of veered into a different direction where we felt like Rajan was going to end up being the antagonist. Mm -hmm. And so in the end, when he ended up being, you know, um, the good guy, so to speak, everyone was kind of like, huh? Like, what? What? What, what happened here? Yeah. So I think that's a lot of people off guard. But I was going to say, I think one of the other funny scenes for me was when they're in the house and and Will's like, all right, everybody out. So everybody runs out oh, and then they God, realize yeah. they left Amelia and Hernando and Danny and they run back in and Lethal runs it. He goes, we're coming, family. And he, <laughs> he, he's, he's running. I don't know. It seems so like a childish like behavior, but it fit him and it was, I don't know. I just found that scene in particular very, very funny. But I just, I had to say that because it just stuck out to me. <laughs> and the last question. Why do you think season three should happen? Because some people think the ending they gave us was enough. But when you really think about it, it wasn't enough. No. Oh, can you repeat the question? Why do you think season three should happen? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think season three needs to happen, one, because it was supposed to. And because the finale, finale, I say that in quotes, um, <laughs> Because it Thank was you. so rushed, I feel, yeah, because it, because it, it felt so rushed, you know, but yeah. there's, okay, there's eight characters, there's more than eight characters, everybody had their own story and background and history, and it was supposed to span, it was, I'm sorry, it was supposed to play out in a span of five seasons, that's how Sense8 was supposed to go, and with the two-hour special, we didn't get the whole story, we didn't, we didn't get every single history of each character like we were supposed to so nothing right. felt concluded the yeah. way they thought that it did for us and it didn't it didn't feel finished it didn't feel it wasn't it wasn't fulfilling for us in the long run you know in the moment it felt okay you know if i could say all right cool uh i get to see another sunset episode next week then that's fulfilling to me 
But seeing yeah. this two hour special and then thinking, oh, you know, realizing that's the last of it forever, I don't feel fulfilled. I feel like there's more to it that I have to yeah. see. Yeah, there, there were so, so many loose ends. Yeah, yeah, there, there, there was. There were so yeah. many, and I think that was done on purpose, you know. Yeah. And I know that right now people probably feel like, you know, it's done, it's over, it's the end, you know, uh, you know, fans have gone quiet, um, you know, the actors have gone their own way, but the, the way I see it is, you know, we're, we're not at the end of the line here, you know, there's, you know, the future is, is unpredictable, you know, you never know in a year or two years, three years, somebody else might pick it up, it, you just never really know, it's, it's just a matter of keeping it alive and, um, you know, just always coming back to to protest you know we're gonna have breaks we're gonna have um you know our little our our spaces here and there where we're not going to be very active where the fans are going to get tired and i think that seems very discouraging to a lot of people because in the moment it feels like it's over with and done and that's not true you have to take breaks you have to recollect your thoughts and understand that you know we're, it's not over for a lot of people but we just have to uh, do everything in moderation, you know, and um, I know for a lot of fans, Sensei, it's, it, it's it's not the end, and and they don't want it to be the end. And as long as you keep that that passion and determination in you, and you and like, because for me, I have posters on my walls and I have pictures on my walls of the series, and I look at it like every day, and I'm just like, you know, I've I've not been as active as I used to be. And I know that, you know, life gets busy for a lot of people. And, you know, we got work, we got school, we got relationships, we have everything going on in our own lives. And yeah, we're going to be, you know, we're going to, our attention is going to be put elsewhere, no matter what. And, but it's always going to come back to this as well. And that's what it is for me, too. I just look at, it, I'm just like, man, this is my show. These are my people. And I'm not ready to give up on it yet. And so <laughs> I feel like, a lot of fans think that it's just done and over with. It was, it was, it was good enough for them. And there are a lot of fans out there too that feel like they they still want to fight for it, but they feel like it's it's not going to happen because there aren't enough of us. Mm -hmm. And not only that, uh, but who would like? I don't want to sound pessimist. I really want two three to happen, but uh, who would pick up the show if? the like the budget have to be so big because they well they were already like all together in the same country they don't have to freaking travel to uh korea and mexico and stuff but right. it, it, i mean i guess that's like the biggest um problem there like the budget Right, and they did say it was a budget issue because they were traveling to different. Netflix is is making so many shows that and they could spend that budget in freaking Sensate. So they can't. They can't give us that excuse. They can't. They, <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, a lot of people feel like that too. It, it's they say it's a matter of budget, but they have some. I'm sorry, I'm going to say this. They have a lot of trash shows uh, right. out. <laughs> that, I yes. show up for you with you. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't even start with the movies. Yeah. They yeah. can't give us that excuse. I, and I don't think it's a money thing anymore. I, I'll be honest with you. We had more than enough people that showed up for this two hour special. We had enough people, enough people, fan base, to actually get them to respond. We, we did that. We had that. So there's no excuse to say we don't have enough viewers for a season three. We, we don't have the money for a season three. Well, you know what? We kind of proved you wrong because we also, we got uh, t-shirts. We were able to get those from Hot Topic. We were also able yeah. to make Sensei yeah. Cons happen. We had um, uh, our American cluster go to, what was it, Florida Pride maybe a year ago. We had... You know, we, we've done a lot as a fan base. We've made a lot happen. And just the advertising alone, by hanging up posters, by social media, we got so many. We doubled the fan base within a year. Yeah. Less than a year, we doubled it. So imagine what we could have done with another year, you know? Yeah. So, honestly, I think that... <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> honestly, really, I think the reason is 
just their pride. Like, they made a mistake and they just yeah. don't really want to own up to it. I think right. what happened was, so the budget for season two was really big. And I think they realized, like, when the uh, when it was going to air, they realized, oh, no, we didn't advertise enough. And I think even before it really aired, they decided to just cut it off, like, oh, we'll give it three weeks, and if the numbers are not overwhelming, then we'll, then we'll just cancel the show, no big deal. But that's the thing. I think a lot of people, a lot of fans who were going to watch Sense8 season two because they, were, they liked the show so much, they didn't know it was airing yet because there was so little promotion for season two. Mm-hmm. So right. had they done that promotion right, I think this wouldn't even have happened at all. It wouldn't have. They choose what they want to promote and advertise because whatever is their favorite, they're going to stick with. And that's a problem a lot of people have with them. Because besides from Sensei, I could think of three, four other shows that were canceled the same way that I got invested in and then realized that they canceled it for another season. And I'm just sitting here like, okay, well, I just invested myself for nothing because you spent how much money on this first season and now you don't want to finish it. And a lot of people are annoyed with that. They're like, no, if you're going to give a service, you know, go all out. Don't just, you know, snatch away movies and shows and series with, from us that are half done. So, yeah, that's exactly what they did to Sensei. Nothing. These shows don't have promotion. They pick what they want. They pick their favorites. They did. They overlooked it. They didn't want to advertise. They didn't want to promote. They mm-hmm. said, oh, you know, it's just a matter of you know, how many viewers it can get on its own. They basically want each show to stand on its own two legs by itself, you know? Yeah. But that's how it works. And a lot of people are angry with that. Like, I know I, I for sure am just irritated with that kind of mindset and business model because I just don't feel like that's how the service should be run. Yes. No. Yeah. Yeah. I honestly felt betrayed because I was so happy, like... Before Netflix started to get into this pattern of canceling shows, I was like, Netflix is awesome. They are trying to give space and voices to minorities, to Mm -hmm. females, to black people. I was like, yes, I'm so happy. And then you do this to me. I honestly feel betrayed. Yeah. So Mm -hmm. deeply. It's like, it's, it's seriously, it's between us now. You decided to mess with my show. Yeah, people I complain a lot that TV shows or movies are not, like, inclusive enough or, I don't know, the thing that we do now with the minorities and stuff. But since it has it all, it has it exactly. all. Exactly. And it's it, not for, so like, <laughs> what, I, what I really appreciate about Netflix, like, if you try to look at their new shows or movies, there are good elements about it. But there's always something that brings them down, you know, like as a person that it's part of the LGBT community. I was watching one of Netflix movies like, um, I don't know, some months ago, and they just made a joke about transgender people. And I was like, yeah. why, why would you let this kind of joke in this kind of movie? This is a downfall for you. So I appreciate that you're trying. But the only show that actually talks about minority representation without uh, exaggerating and being real with being totally real proof. Real. That's the word. Exactly. And hiring people from the countries, every crew is from the country. Yeah. Yeah. So exactly. it's native people. That's why it costs so much. You're hiring people from all over the world, but is there anything better than that? No. 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 I think that's Just the difference between through a, TV, through a TV screen, they're actually living it. You know, they're... they're they're putting it in motion. You know, they're not just making a difference through a screen. They're doing it outside of it, too. That's yes. where a lot of people feel And I really swear, bad. guys, like, seeing that live, being able, having been able to see that when I was in Naples, I cannot even begin to describe what it feels like to even mm-hmm. watch Lana work. You would, like, if anybody could just go one day on set with Lana Wachowski, they would give her the money. I promise you. <laughs> We um, got her a shirt, a Sensate shirt. Uh, oh. from and I want to send it. Well, I got three. I got one for Brian, one for her, and one for Ellen DeGeneres. We got her name put on the back. But I oh have to God. mail it. 
So we're going to mail it in hopes of having her get somebody or one of them on the show. And with like a little proposal. But I haven't had a chance yet. And so I've kind of been racking my brain. And then this last week or two weeks when I heard about Lana's, um, her studio, I kind of yes. got British and I was like, well, well, I don't know where I'm going to send it now. But I'm sorry, Sora, was that, was that the last question or do you have more? Or No, that was the last question. Yeah, and oh. I think like Margaret definitely covered the reason why season three should, yeah. you know, happen. <laughs> <laughs> Give Sorry, guys, season I, three. I was just rambling as I do sometimes, but I mean, yeah, I, I mean, those are pretty much my thoughts on it. It's just we got to keep going, and you know, yeah. even even just slowly, you know, you don't have to. Yeah, the stop. point is nobody's rushing anybody, like. We're not giving you timetables. We just want it. Right. Just tell us it'll happen in five years. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. With, I'll be waiting five years. I don't care. I, I would I would even be happy with that. You know, I would be happy with yeah. them saying, okay, do it. But it's going to take about three years, four years to do it, to really get a nice solid season out. And I would be okay with that. I just want to know that it, it's going to happen, you know. Yeah. And yeah. it's, I don't know. I, I just... I don't think it's over with yet. I just think Sensei was really ahead of its time mm -hmm. with, you know, um, with all the stories that it gives. And mm -hmm. like you said, the minority representation, I think it was really ahead of its time. And But now, you know, looking around and seeing exactly what kind of content we have out in general, you know, in Hollywood and stuff, um, I feel like it, it, it deserves a second chance. And um, uh, luckily the fans put it out there enough to where many more people saw it and said, Hey, like, you know, I can really relate to this. Yeah. So, um, I, I think, I think it'll get a second chance. I just, I don't know when, and, um, you know, just time will tell. I mean, yeah. you know, they're all kind of doing their own thing. The actors, it seems, you know, they're getting jobs and they're getting casted and that's great. And I'm really happy for them. I see mm -hmm. on their Instagram and all that, you know, and, yeah. Uh, happy I feel happy it's kind of bittersweet you know I feel happy for them um you know for getting work and for kind of you know just keeping on keeping on you know not giving up yeah. and but I mean on the other hand it's it is you know a bit heartbreaking to know you know they're just not in the same place anymore like, like, you get for me I feel like attached to all so. these characters and then bye yeah 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 oh my god it was just horrible. I feel, like it wasn't really, it, I feel like it wasn't really an ending, though. I felt like it was, like, more like a dream. Was, like, everything just fell into place so smoothly. Oh, yeah. yeah. You, could, you know, it just feel like it had that air of realism in it. Like, you know, the other the other episodes. You Agreed. Know, it just didn't, didn't it felt agree. more like a, like a season ending instead of a series ending. Uh. Mm -hmm. The only thing that we can actively do is keep talking about it like as margaret said many people gave up many people do not give up but they are not as positive as they used to be mm -hmm. but i think as long as we keep promoting it we keep the talk going on i mean as you can see we the whole fandom keeps retweeting every day i don't know 10 every single day there are like 10 new tweets of people finding out the show finding the show and I'm like, oh my god, it's 10 people more every day. So sure. let's keep going. Let's keep promoting. Yay! <laughs> well, I guess that's it. <laughs> yeah, we did it! Uh, I didn't say city, but it's Belgium is so <laughs> small. <so. laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys so much for joining me and telling me. Yeah, of course. Or Thanks for Thank you. It was fun. Yeah. I hope that the cluster never dies. And we keep fighting. All right. Well, thanks, ladies. Uh, it was nice talking to you. And hopefully we could do this again sometime. It was fun. Sure. Yes. And yeah, why not? Definitely. I know. <laughs> Sensei for hours and hours. It's already been an hour. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you, ladies. Bye. 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 Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.